This episode of Whiskey Ginger is brought to you by Manscaped. Go to manscaped.com for all the right tools to clean up your tool. Come on, man. You got to keep your shed in order. You can't get all sloppy and nasty. They don't want to see you like that. Your significant other or potentials don't want to go down there and be like, what's up, man? Have you not washed and cleaned in a while? Do some spring cleaning in the summer. Go to manscaped.com and get yourself 20% off and also a free shipping and a travel tote bag that has all the right stuff for you, man. I've got it. It is great. I take it with me. Um, it's got a, a beautiful new trimmer, the Lawnmower 2.0. It's got some crop protectors on there, so you're not going to accidentally nick your nuts. Everybody knows when you nick your nuts, it's maybe the worst thing on earth, man. I've done it a few times. You know, I'm privy. And every time it does, then it burns in the shower and you watch your nuts bleed and you think, this could be it. This is it. Either my nut's going to fall out of its sack or I'm never going to be able to use this thing again. And in order to thwart that, go ahead to go to Manscaped and get the right tools for your tool. It's incredible. I do use it. I do like it because I, I want a separate trimmer for my facce and uh, one for my cake. You know, I can't have two of the same tools touching at the same time, just like the towel theory, you know, put face on one side, nuts on the other, nuts and butts on one and face on the other. That's how I do it. That's how you should do it. Go to manscaped.com. Get yourself 20% off free shipping. Get yourself a nice tote bag from them. Use the promo code whiskey to do so. Go to manscaped.com. Use the promo code whiskey to get yourself a hell of a deal. It is the shit. Enjoy the episode. Hey everybody, welcome to the 37th edition of the Just for Laughs Festival, in collaboration with Lotto Quebec. Comedy Pro is proud to present this podcast. In here, we pour whiskey, 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 whiskey. whiskey. When I'm feeling cheap, I get a bottle of gin beam for mixed drinks. But when I'm pretending to be a king, I get some eagle and Knob Creek and sip the shit and eat, cause I'm a man. Yeah, I'm a classy man. If it's bourbon, I'll have whatever you pass me, fam. Baker's Mark, Old Crow, Basil Hayden, Four Roses, Woodford, Bullet, it's all the same shit. No, it isn't, but I'll still happily have it if you only got some plastic bottle black velvet cap this. Long as Roll Call keeps them drum slapping, I'ma keep it sick as Santino catching it with the captain. EGAD, man. This shit is hella dope, I'm leaving them season Need a prosthetics like Chips Delano with colorful shoes And three inch lifts, my favorite MC's from Prim And his name's Jake Smith Quick, Hollywood, make a movie about me You could even get Byron Callick to play me Except he's too old, and I'm too young And I'm hot of the roof and out in the noonday sun So just stop, y'all, call the cops, y'all Let's get it poppin' like a motherfucking Pop-Tart Y'all shout to the man with the Cheeto-colored hair It's the Whiskey Ginger Podcast, baby, yeah Oh, and it's my pleasure to introduce the host of the Whiskey Ginger Podcast, Mr. Andrew Santino, Bobby Lee, and Black Dog. Come on, let's do it. Yeah. Ginger. I like gingers. Ladies and gentlemen, what up, what up? Uh, Bobby, don't kiss people. He's kissing people in the fucking crowd, man. Bobby, don't kiss Char. The fuck? Oh my God. This is how we all, this is how we start the show. Bobby likes to kiss people on the mouth. Uh, it's European. That's why I do it. This is not. We're not. I'm in a Europe. different country. I like to kiss men in, in the Europe. mouth and everything. Yeah. All right. Hi. All right. Hey, what's up, all right. Man? Hold on. Before we get this thing started, uh, I want to give uh, a warm uh, thank you to Jar. But man, Jar, to start off the show for rapid. Jar is the shit, huh? How great was that? Yes. So cool. And, uh, and the way I, I always start the show, uh, I'm going to start the show how I usually do. Uh, these two guests are literally two of my favorite people on earth. I say that for all my guests, but I mean it once again today. Black Thought and Bobby Lee, dude. Yeah. Holy shit. I, 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 I want to be referred to as Yellow Thought. He, you want to be? So call me Yellow Thought for the rest of the podcast, okay? I'm sorry. 
But it's I have thoughts good. as well. I have a mind. Thank you. <laughs> and I have opinions. Thank you. It's all good. You really want to be called Yellow Thought for the rest of the yes, podcast? Yes, yes, I do. So, so Red Thought, Black Thought, Yellow Thought. Yes. Cool. Let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> thank you. Okay, good. Uh, thank you guys for coming, Black Thought. I'm so happy that you're fucking here. You, you're in town doing your own show, right? You're doing Absolutely, a show? Absolutely, yeah, yeah. Yeah. No, is it you picking stand ups? Is that what it is? Yeah, yeah. Essentially, me picking stand ups and doing stand up. You're doing stand-up, too? Yeah, yeah. How much time you got? Um, I mean, I, I got as much time as I need. <laughs> I, I'm probably going to do, you know, like 10 minutes or so. Yeah, so. yeah. What a pro answer. I have as much, as much as I answer. fucking need. <laughs> I'll do whatever the fuck I need. He's a survivor. Need. Yeah. That's what he is, right? That's, that's and not... the thoughts, right, that he has, yeah. number one, are black. Yeah. That's number one. Number two, right? Yeah. Very, he's strategy. He's good at strategy. Black thought strategy. Yeah, because I've never beaten a black person in chess. Did you know that... How Every many black, black people do you have, have you have you ever played chess? No. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how to play it. But I never won. So thank you. <laughs> he even he knows you definitely can't play chess. Right. I can fucking play chess, bro. Really? Name some of the pieces. <laughs> oh, name, you want to challenge the pieces? You want to challenge me? I'm doing it right now. All right, I'm gonna do it for everyone else here, right? Pawn. Right? Rook. Oh. Rook. Okay. Bishop dog in your face, right? Yeah. Knight! <laughs> King Queen! <laughs> That's all there is. And then the sp little squares. That's not a thing. That's not a player. That's not a player. That's, That's part ground. of the board. That's a ground. All right, yeah, so you yeah. played. You did your yes. thing, yellow. yellow uh, <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, black. <laughs> this is going to get demonetized immediately on YouTube. Uh, so well, here's what I, well, I want to start off asking this because I'm so interested that you're, look, you work in the world of comedy, right? You're on, you're, you guys are on The Tonight Show, which is fucking unbelievable. I remember when I heard you guys were going to be on The Tonight Show and it blew my mind because it was like the final revolution for me in comedy and music that I love meeting. Because for years, like house bands of late night shows, you were like, okay, it's fucking a couple of dudes. I mean, even though very talented musicians, but like to have you guys, to me, like led, like l fucking the pinnacle of legendary hip hop gods uh, to me. I was uh, like, thanks. I get to watch that shit and comedy. I mean, yeah. I, I just, to me, it was like the bridging of the future. And this is another example because like now you're in the stand up game. Yeah. yeah. What, like, was that the impetus? Cause you're like, I, I want to do it because I'm around it all the time and I'm. Um, yeah, it just happened, you know, in a real organic sort of way. It was like, you know, I'm around the shit really all the time. Yeah. And even when we're not on tonight's show, just uh, in the roots, we're all, you know, a group of, of comedians. And there's always just, you know, like an ongoing, you know, running joke. So, um, yeah, I thought, why not try and, you know, flex my comedic muscle? I mean, I'll, it's not like I don't really write material. I just talk about my life is a joke. Yeah, those, you uh, and Bobby are the just, same comedian. You know? Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> His life is also a joke. Yeah, I mean, I just come out and, you know, I just tell, tell some stories. Yeah. You know I mean? Is anybody, who's the funniest member of, of The Roots? Me. Easily. Yeah, yeah, but, 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 but who's second to you, though? If you're going to be honest, like, who can, who can put up their competition? Um, Mark, who plays bass in The Roots, he's super funny. I mean, all, Stro, who's like, our, he plays like a drum machine. Yeah. Everyone in The Roots really is. So you're is, telling me is, Quest is, is not funny at all? Quest is the least funny. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm keep, you know, I'm just being brutal. Why, why, why do you think, what makes him the least funny? Because he seems like he's comedically aware. He has great, good, great timing. Um, you, one would think, but, you know, not, <laughs> not so much. Not no, a I'm fact. I'm not going to, you know, I mean, he's high, but yeah, everyone else is just funnier. Okay. Yeah. All right. I appreciate that. Did you, when you, um, like when you guys were, were starting together, uh, in F South Philly in the house, y'all. Do you want more? Does anybody want more? Do you want more? <laughs> Too many whites in here for that. But um, I, sh I won't talk any of that stuff anymore. I just realized 90% of people in here are just like, I, don't, I have no idea what he's talking about. Um, no, I mean, yeah, you got to educate the people. Yeah, so. they should. Does any, who knows the history and the discography of The Roots? You do right there, this young lady? Yes? You do? Does anybody in the front know? No? You not know these guys? Yeah? Okay, you do? Who here has heard rap music? Before? Yeah. <laughs> Okay. Fre a lot of French Canadians. Yeah, a lot of yeah, a lot of French Canadians. I don't know if they like. Do they, is there a famous French Canadian rapper? Is there? No. Okay, that makes perfect sense. Yeah, getting my poutine on every day. It is, yeah, there's nothing there really. No material. Every day I'm hustling. Every day I will be hustling to the store too. No, it's gotta go. That's it. It's not gonna work. So now that you're now that you're doing stand up, like, what would you? Would you ever do a special? Would that be some shit that you would do? Yeah, yeah, I would do a special. You would? Yeah, yeah. if Netflix was like, we want to do a fucking special. Yeah, for sure. Would you have the group with you or no? 
Um, no, I don't think I would. Do I think you know I want to just keep a, a separation of of church and state. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like what, when I'm with the roots, I feel like it's uh, you know we joke a lot amongst ourselves, but what we do as entertainers, as musicians, is is serious. And, uh, right. Yeah, right. I don't want to. I don't you don't want to. You don't want to break that up. But then I'm, again, I say it's serious when we're you know the roots. But when we're on the Tonight Show, I'm dressed. I could wear cat ears. I wore had cat ears on. Yeah, right, maybe right. two, three days ago. Yeah, they make you do yeah. some weird shit on that show. Yeah, there's they no make doubt. You do some yeah. weird shit. Big time. Bobby? Bobby? <laughs> Bob, Bob, Bobby? I'm here. I'm here. When he's not, he doesn't, you have to keep, we have to keep him. No, no, you, no you don't. No, get... here's what it is, though. Here's Can I say is. something? Yeah, say, say everything. It is, this is what it is. Yeah. Okay. I say that a lot. Um, <laughs> is it I, Black Thought? So, black, so, so, Tariq, one of the things that I wanted to ask. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> that's, what, that's why, though. What? But that's why the fuck I. That's why the fuck that I didn't say anything. No, I want you to say something because else. I want you to have you know to get the information about Black Thought and just stop. I don't want to interrupt it, so that's okay. why I'm doing it. Though. Okay. No, 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 don't, 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 don't do that. Don't, don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> what is he doing? Why do they do that? But say what you wanted to say. <laughs> why did they, Why did you do that? I mean, not they. I don't. That's not, that's what black Calm people down. do. I, just, Calm I don't know why. Down, that's, that's not what I meant. I said, why are you doing it now? That's, I'm just taking my jacket. Yeah, yeah you that's can, a you great can, jacket, by the way. I like it. Thank you. You're welcome, Bobby. Yes. Bobby, what's your connection to hip hop music? Um, I have a lot. Well, go ahead. Well, um, I started off with in the '80s, right? Mm -hmm. Here's the thing, dude. I grew up in Green Valley in yeah. Poway, which is. A lot of white people. San Diego. For San people Diego, that, they, yeah, don't, they don't so, know what yeah. is, yeah. A lot of white people, you know. Can I touch you? Is that weird? No, no. Okay, okay. Can I be, can well, I, be felt weird. I think it felt weird for me. So not, that's no, it's not weird. No, you can't touch me. I can't <laughs> touch you. <laughs> Thank you, no. Okay. <laughs> I, and I apologize then. Okay? Oh. Black Thoughts? Okay, good. <laughs> this episode will like be I'm called sweating. Black Thought, crazy. Yellow Thought, Go to War, yeah, yeah, yeah. live. Oh, yeah. Man. Listen. Explain. I don't know where you're... Well, yeah, so I... Oh, so hip-hop. So when I, my brother Steve, some people know who Stevie, Stevie Weeby is, right? You guys know Stevie Weeby? Thank you, he's yeah, the best. Yeah, we know he's Stevie Weeby. He's my brother! Thank you! <laughs> Shut the fuck up, dude. <laughs> I'm don't fucking tired them. of this shit, dude. When I came up, you started giving me fucking don't fuck eyes. Him. Don't give me fuck eyes, all right, bro? I'm not gonna fuck you. <laughs> I apologize. I apologize. No, it's all good. Have I hooked up with guys before back when I was younger? Yes. Yes. Okay, yes, but not anymore, so don't stop giving me fuck eyes, kid. <laughs> what was I talking about? Hip hop. What's Sit down. Oh don't be God. so threatening, man. Threatening Canadians don't they don't yeah, deal yeah. with that shit up here. It's so they, funny, like usually when people's pants are falling down, like they like pull them up a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You just like gave yours an extra tug. Like, <laughs> Wait, is my pants down? <laughs> no, Bobby. Uh -oh. Bobby. Is it down? Don't. I'll go full full of force. Don't. You, no, don't. you think no. I'm fucking around here in don't Montreal? Don't encourage that shit. I am not shit. fucking around in don't Montreal. Don't encourage it. Don't I have a statement to make. And my statement is this, okay? You can't bring me down. <laughs> All right? I'm going to fight the oppression. <laughs> So we'll be right back, and when we come back, maybe we'll get this hip hop story that we've been waiting for. Yeah, no, for five here's what it is. Minutes. My brother Steve is a hip hop artist. Yes, mm. he's very good at rapping, and right. So yeah, Monkshi is in a band called Monkshi. <laughs> anyway, uh, but I was always like punk rock back in the day. You know, I, I got the Sex Pistols album and the Clash mm -hmm. and stuff like that growing mm -hmm. up. So, um, but my brother made me listen to uh, Low End Theory. The, yes, Tribe Called Quest. Great al album, right? Yeah. A lot of De La So. Soul. Soul. De La Soul. De La Soul was the Asian version of De La Soul. <laughs> we are De La Soul. <laughs> <laughs> You're fucking, I fucking hate you so much. Yeah. I don't know why. I, I don't know why I do things with you. I fucking hate you. Finish I really the story. Don't like you. I like you. Finish yeah, yeah, the story. Yeah. So anyway, um, and then obviously the Beastie Boys, you know, I listened to and Ron DMC back in the 80s and stuff like that. So that's my... You know, when Jurassic 5 came out with their album years ago, I got that. You like them? I, I did back then. They're a good then. group, yeah, yeah. yeah. And then, um, that's it, though. I don't know much. So, I've heard of The Roots. I love them. They're, very, they're, they're phenomenal. I mean, I don't, I don't, you don't have, have your album. Look, I don't, I don't, I don't you keep album. touching him. He said it you know, fucking nine times. And I like how you say the album, like, we have one record. <laughs> yeah, we got that. Thank you. Were you kidding that I can't touch you? Or? No, no, he doesn't yeah, like yeah, you yeah. touching him. But that's not sexual. It's what are we, like, we've talked, we've had this conversation many nights. You can't just touch yeah, everybody. Yeah, but we're, like, we're trying to, listen, we're trying to connect as human beings, right? New rule. <laughs> but we're a part of the same species, right, Black Thoughts? I mean, I... 
Raise your like, hand. We're all, we're all like, we're, we're all like, we're all the same people. That's what I'm basically what I'm saying. Yeah. We're, so I don't we're feel part like of I, the same family. We're thoughts. Yeah, you're both thoughts. Oh, that's true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you know, um, sorry. I so you to touching me that way is almost incestuous. It's like, yeah, all that's right. your brother. It got, yeah, it's incestuous. You really think about it, right? Yeah, yeah it is. Yeah. And let, and let me tell you something. It's usually a penis when you say that, <laughs> but it's like the arm, that's fine. Yeah. I can't wait to get a letter tomorrow morning from uh, his crew being like, um, that was the most disrespectful, fucked up thing on earth. No, that you let that no. little Asian man touch my client no, over. It's all good, man. CAA, we're having, ICM we're is going to get, you know, I'm going to get sued by CAA from you. One of the reps. Yeah, one of the agents. You don't care. I know you don't care. No, I do care. And that's not going to happen. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. What are you talking about? No one's going to get sued. Nothing's going to happen. So I don't know what you're doing. But anyway, um, I won't touch you, but I'm going to go this far. <laughs> I, I have to do this far, okay? I like you. Congratulations on all your success. Thank you. Thanks, man. And I want to touch so bad. Don't! <laughs> but I'm not going to. Robert! I want to touch. If I touch, what will happen to me? Aside from getting sickle cell anemia. <laughs> is that racist? It is. I, mean, yeah. I apologize. That was a joke. I'm so sorry. How about this? That was a joke. I'm sorry. How about this? You're going to get SARS. Here, here, here's what's, here's what's funny. Man. You're discounting Yo, the fact. Get this dude out of here. Like. You're discounting the fact that he could like, physically just beat the shit out of you. I mean, you do. that's just like one thing he could the, just do. I don't do. think it's safe to assume that I could beat the shit out of him. It is very much so. Oh, you can. Yes, For sure. You can. Yes. There's literally 100% no is a guarantee. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I don't have any muscles. Not. <laughs> Ari Shafir beat the shit out of me. I've had so many people beat me up. You have. And you know what? When, you get, when you're a comic and you get beat up all the time, Eventually, you look in the mirror and you go, maybe it's you. It's you. <laughs> it is. You did this. <laughs> but I don't, I honestly, I wake up and I go, um, I don't think I do anything wrong. But maybe I do. And you I have do to a lot wrong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you yeah. do a lot wrong. Like even earlier, when we were in the green room and there was a lady in there. And yeah, I go, you, yeah, you said something I, terrible. I said to Andrew, I go, if you were... If I was gay, you'd be the last dick to suck or something like that, right? You said, if we were gay, you'd be the last dick I would ever suck. Yeah, but how is that, if other people listen to it, how is that sexual harassment? Because that nice woman that works here doesn't want to hear about sucking cock when she walks in to give us instructions about the show. <laughs> Check, please. No, I that woman literally walked in to be like, you're hey, right. guys, I'm going to start right. the show for you guys. And you're like, I wouldn't okay. suck your cock. Yeah, 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 you're yeah, right. No. Right. She doesn't need that I shit. apologize. Where is she? She's gone. She went home. Oh, she, she went home? Okay. <laughs> I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. You know, I have to let you know, there she is right there. I have to let you know that this guy right here, I know he seems like he's the hero of this. And everyone's like, he is sensible. This guy's a piece of shit. <laughs> it's one of the worst pieces of shit you'll ever meet in life, okay? So I don't know what, you know, but anyway, I like you though. Everything's fine. Can I, can Go I- Go back to Black I, Thoughts I, and then come back to I'm, I'm going to, I'm, let me take care of it, okay? Jesus. Can I say, can I say a line to, to you that I fucking love? I mean, I feel like it's going to be weird. No, I, I swear to God, it's not. I swear to God, it's not. Okay. I, Because I, 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 I heard it again the other day, and I was like, look, I'm not going to, I don't want to fucking kiss the ring more than I want to, but you, you have such prolific fucking lines that make me go, God damn, and I have to hear it again and again and again and again and again. Benny the Butcher on the song with him, you said, I, I had to pull myself up by the bootstrap. Yeah. Where people stay separate, like a tooth gap. Yes, I did. Oof. I, that, I, like when you when you write that, do you go? <laughs> I'm the shit. Well, I mean, you know, I, I don't know. I thought that was funny. Like, the line is actually uh, I had to pull my own self up by the bootstrap, where um, everybody plays their own part. Part. Like yeah, you know, yeah, play your part. Like a, you know. Like a um, yeah, I thought that was cute and funny. It's, it's, but it's so, yeah. it's so, it's funny, but it's so poignant and good, right? Yeah, like yeah. When you, when, when you have moments like that, when you are writing, because this is a comparison I'm making in, in comedy. There are times in comedy when we're writing jokes, yeah. where I'll write something down, yeah. and you know, I want to stand up and like, and you're like God, I'm yeah, shit. yeah, yeah, and there's nobody yeah. there to celebrate, but I'm like, it's right. me, bitch, I right, did it. Right, right. <laughs> do you um, have those moments? I, I do sometimes, but. I surround myself with people who are like, calm down. Right, 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 you know? right. So they just who humble of, you out. Know, yeah, they keep me super humble. And you know, when I say, hey, these are the the lines, or this is the verse that you know I just cut, or that I'm thinking about recording, you know, that wouldn't be a standout line. No, no, no. But it's they stood would be out. like, oh, uh, you know, whatever. I mean, that's cool. It stood out to me because it was because as a comedian, whenever something's kind of funny and clever and yeah. hip hop. 
I always I, I draw to it. Like in that song, like Benny has a million great yeah. dope lines. Yeah. But for some reason that stuck out because it was so I just find these little things. No, yeah, it's the subtle nuance. And yeah, have, yeah. That's uh that's 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 what it do it for. Yeah, that's the beauty of what you do. Are you finding the same things when you're trying to write stand up? Um, yeah, I am. I am. Yeah. I mean, you know, uh, at, at at best, like when I'm when I'm at my best, then yeah, I am able to, you know, to touch on those subtle nuances. You have you bombed yet? Oh man, you know. Is there like wood to knock on? Like, no, 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 I've yet to bomb. Okay, uh, um, I kind of want but, it to happen to you really bad. I, I don't, yeah. You know? Just because you're like one of my favorite hip hop artists, so like badly, I, I want to have I that bombed, on you. I bombed as a rapper. You know? Yeah. What was what was the worst bomb moment for you? Do playing music. Oh man, you know what? We were doing um, some years ago. We were doing uh, uh, an award show. It was a tribute to all these different artists that were being honored. And I was one of the artists chosen to honor Jay Z. Mm -hmm. um, Do you guys know Jay Z? Do you guys have him up here? <laughs> like, and Jay Z had recently signed us to a record that he had just signed, The Roots. So you know, we had like a new relationship with him. We were doing business together, and um, yeah, like I had to do this uh, tribute. We came to rehearsal earlier in the day, and I just wasn't familiar with the material that we were doing. Right. It was me. It was another rapper, um, Talib Kweli. <laughs> And it was um, a couple, some some singers, and we were all like you know a, a team uh, in tribute, and we had all of the lyrics on teleprompters, and they were all over the stage, so I didn't need to commit any of it to memory. Right. And then cut to on the day, like when it was time to come out and do the show, all the teleprompters went like blank. Oh shit. And the band was still playing, and they're rocking on. And now usually, Questlove is able to. Like give me, feed me the first line or two, or like say something that's gonna remind me, jog my memory of, you know, what I have to say. Right. And he's like yelling, busy yelling, but on this day in particular, he was playing inside of a like a plexiglass like drum. Oh right, bass, one of those casings, like a yeah. Sound barrier, so I couldn't hear anything. He's like, he's, he knows the song, so he's like, you know, rapping the lyrics, and I just couldn't get it. And I asked Kwali, I said, Yo, like, what's my line? And he's like, I'm trying to remember my shit. Get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> and I just bombed. And it was I wound up for the whole performance just like ad libbing and you know. Damn. Were, I mean Were you I, feeling it while it was happening? Because when we bomb yeah, as comics It was an out of body experience. Yes. Like I, you leave yourself. Yeah, I felt like I was in the audience watching myself. And you watch yourself yeah. and you're like, who is this uh, garbage ass uh -huh. dude yeah, doing my yeah. shit? I was like, oh man, dude is trash. And just, you know, everyone it, I don't know, I'm sure in my mind it played out a lot worse than it did. I'm sure. But yeah, but it, it was. Yeah, it felt really terrible. What's your worst bomb, Bobby? <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> what? When the worst of your worst of bomb? <laughs> Sometimes you have to snap him back okay, in. Okay, now there's, really that's an in. Asian. <laughs> he, she's laughing. Where are the Asians laughing? Raise your hand if you're you an Asian and laugh at that fucker. end of the day lost soul joke. So... They my worst bomb was, um, I've had many bombs, but yeah, we the know. worst one I ever had was when I got booed off a stage in front of 20,000 people in San Jose. What? Yeah, huh. I, yeah so um, I did this show with a guy named Dave Chappelle and Kate, <laughs> Kat, Kat. Kat Williams? Yeah. So both brand new artists to stand up. Yes. Open Young micers. And, right, okay. Um, and I did a show with them, and who else was on it? Leslie Jones was on it. Okay. So um, it was 20,000 seats. Leslie went up before me. I was looking at the monitor, and she, in front of 20,000, she jumps off the stage, and there was like a little, like, 14 year old white kid sitting there, and she just starts triumphing. <laughs> the place, the wall, okay, I'm standing behind a wall, and it's doing this. Because the laughter is so loud. The right, right? walls are shaking. Yeah, like this, right? She's and, and, and I look at Jeff Wills, the promoter, and I go, I don't think I can do it. <laughs> He's like, You're gonna be fine. I'm gonna eat it. <laughs> And then she gets up, she's sweating, right? And she's like, you're going to kill it, Bob, right? Yeah. And so there's like this long hallway, and there's a smoke machine, and all of us in here here, Bobby Lee! Right, so then... I, 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 <laughs> seriously, I start running down this hallway, and it's like nine miles long! And I go through the smoke, and there, everyone's, ah, right? I go, how you doing, San Jose? Nothing, right? <laughs> and then two minutes in, I black out. <laughs> No, I'm being real. And I end up in like a medical room. What? In the back of the stage at the facility. Did you collapse? No, apparently I had like, a, I was bombing so bad that I started doing gibberish. Shut up. Yes, yeah, so I'm eating and people throwing stuff. So I started going. <laughs> like, I, 
I didn't know what to, my body was like. Do something. Yeah. <laughs> right. So I'm sitting there, and um, <laughs> Jeff Wills, my agent was there. Matt, like I don't know if he's here now, but um, he's in town. But um, and I go, what happened? And they go, we've never in the history of comedy <laughs> ever seen a fail <laughs> on that level before. You got medical attention? Yeah, because they thought I had like snapped my mind. You know what I mean? And I went into a different. You know what I mean? That everything broke. Like I turned into Two Face or whatever. Like I, I had an alter ego that I was going to turn into, and that's what happened. Wow. But anyway, I did that. But the, here's the biggest fear is the, that night. Because you bomb and you try to justify it by going, you're a human being. It happens. Right? Things happen. Yeah. You know? And just persevere. But that's not, I was in the bed like this <laughs> in my hotel room. It first thought, is, I'm never going to get pussy again. <laughs> that's the first thing, right? I'm gonna, no money. Right? And then the third thing is, I, I, I can't do this anymore. So it was that hurt so bad. No but pussy. the next, we, I had to do it again. Well, at the, in the same venue? Yeah, but then what I did was I switched the lineup. Uh -huh. so I followed somebody. I'm not going to say who because he's very good. But it's somebody that I know I could follow. Ken Jeong? No. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Give him a little round of applause. That was a very funny joke. Very good. And the timing was good. He's a professional. Thank you. And um, I like your legs, sir. They're really nice. Oh, man. Hey, Bob, Bob. Yeah. Yeah, I never bombed like that. <laughs> that is a new level shit. That's a new yeah. level shit. I had to do the worst I ever did. I think I've talked about this before, but the worst I ever did was Joel McHale, Alonzo Bowden, myself, and a guy named Gary Veter, who's a comic from New York, who's phenomenal. We got paid way too much money to go to Las Vegas to perform for um, Jim Beam uh, whiskey, but they got bought out by Suntory, which is a Japanese company. Do you know that? Yep. Does anybody know yeah. that? Okay. Yeah. I, we didn't fucking know that shit. So we go there. And I'm thinking, I can't, I was like, whiskey dudes? I'm going to have the most fucking fun with these dudes. These are going to be like good old boys laughing, chugging, talking about tits and partying. And Oh, no, no, no. I walked in an auditorium with circular dinner tables, not facing us. Half of these little Japanese men, not facing us. <laughs> Almost no one in there spoke English, okay? So get a bunch of comics from the United States to come kill it in Vegas for little tiny Japanese businessmen in suits. Okay, so some of them are, are big too. <laughs> I mean, you, you say little every time, not all of them are what's little. The big, what's the biggest not Japanese fraggles. guy? They're not fraggles. They're little tiny men. Not sumo, not sumo. No, su but sumo's different. They're not, I think, that, I think they're imported sumos. I don't believe they came from Japan. <laughs> oh God, that's crazy. Maybe you're right. But I don't my know if point they wrote is this, them. Is that, <laughs> maybe you're right, but when I say this is that not every, just, just stop saying little because it demeans the Japanese people. Like, time out, time out, time out. What? I'm not saying they're little to demean their call. I'm saying they are actually physically tiny men. Yeah, but compared to you, maybe. That's right, a normal sized man. <laughs> oh, that's true. <laughs> I'm sorry. They were you're all right, eating right. fucking dinner at these tables, not paying attention to us. And Joel McHale went out and worked so fucking hard on getting a couple of like laughs. And his face, when he walked back, he, and I was like, "How is it?" And he was like, "Just, just, just go get the check, okay?" <laughs> really? Yeah, go get oh the check. Oh my god! And if I he was, says it, he was like, "Just real. go get the check, okay?" And I knew what that meant. And I was like, "You know what, Joel McHale? I'm gonna fucking murder this room. I'm gonna light this. They're gonna turn. They're gonna put down their steak knives. They're gonna fucking turn around. I'm gonna get a little tiny Japanese ovation from their little tiny hands." <laughs> Hundreds of little Japanese men clapping their little tiny hands. Yay, 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 yay. And by you laughing, you encourage this kind of behavior. <laughs> FYI, it's on you. So I told one joke and ate shit so bad that I could hear a man steak knife cut the fucking plate. Wow. I heard it go through the steak in the yeah. back of the room. Wow. Wow. And I was like, fuck, let's just barrel through this. I got 11 minutes to go. Look down at the clock. One minute has gone by. Oh, my I God. This, yeah, I have to do this for 10 more fucking minutes. I'm like, okay, we'll, we'll, okay. I, I throw out all these jokes. Nothing, 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 nothing. This is the funniest part. We had to stay clean. They were like, please stay clean. They don't, it's disrespectful to, to say fuck or anything like that. So I did. I did the right thing because I wanted the check. It was a big fucking check. So I wanted the check. And Alonzo Bowden, I don't know, you know, do you know Alonzo? Yeah, so yeah. he's the best. Alonzo Bowden was like, man, fuck this shit. 
bro, I get off stage, he can tell I'm in pain. I mean, it was like, he was like tears? patting, he was patting Your my, tears. almost, oh. almost. He's patting my shoulder, like consoling me. He has a big hand too. Huge. Opposite of the that, crowd. And that's not, okay, I, I know that came out rock cross weird. He has unusually big hands, that's all. He's just a big guy. Yeah, he's a big guy, that's right. Yeah, yeah. Oh. a full-size man. And <laughs> he, pats me on my, he pats me on my little orange shoulder, and he's like, man, it's good, fuck this shit. And he goes out, and he didn't want to play their bullshit game, and he goes, y'all ain't never seen a black motherfucker this big before. <laughs> and everybody turned, and he was like, yeah, now I got your attention. <laughs> And he lit the room on fire. Wow. They, lo they loved him. They, I mean, it was like all it took was someone being honest with them instead of playing this weird, coy game. And I'm sitting there learning lessons from him, watching him fucking kill. And then afterwards, the promoter goes right up, gives him a big hug, and everyone's laughing, and they're smiling, and I'm standing there, and I'm like, hey, hey, you know? <laughs> hey. And, and I said, man, this is great, man. I want to thank you so much to the promoter. I said, I want to thank you so much. I, you know, I would, I would love to do these again. And he goes... Well, you know, we'll talk. We'll talk. <laughs> I never, I never done a corporate gig ever again after that. Literally, that guy, that buried me because of that. So the lesson here is, if you're bombing bad, make a good black joke, and it will work. Because <laughs> he killed, man. He fucked. Yeah, me. I don't do corporates or college gigs. They're just too nightmarish. For what me. is your, what's like, what's the, what's the world in, in, in the music world when you guys get offered like a private corporate gig? Yeah. Are, do you like that shit? Do you hate that shit? Um, I love it. I love you do? it. I love to do a corporate gig because people like they're always, you know, drunk as fuck. Yeah. And just sort of, you know, just starved for entertainment. Like they they're just ready to give it up for whoever the the entertainment <laughs> right. is. But they, and, but they, they and show you the respect. Us and we come and we kill it, then yeah, they just it's it's, it's like a party. Do they want you to hang out afterward and shit? I mean, you know, in a perfect world, but you know, yeah, you're like I'm fuck just, that. Yeah, I just graciously decline. Mm -hmm. How do you how do you guys exit? Do you guys all have jetpacks when you're done? Do you take yeah, off on jetpacks? Pre yeah, pretty much. The yeah. roots. Yeah, yeah we're <laughs> gone. Just, we throw but, a bunch of smoke bombs down. <laughs> it's, like, it's gone. But even if the roots bomb, right? They bomb together. Yes. When you're by yourself, yeah. and you can share that experience only to yourself. It's horrifying. That's no, why I want like, you to. The roots, we've never. I don't know that we bombed. To, maybe earlier on, we had like one or two bad gigs. But yeah, like when you bomb in the roots, it's usually just like you. Yeah. You just didn't do well on whatever instrument ah, see? you play. Uh -huh. So you feel you know? it. And, and do they say anything backstage? Is no. anybody like, hey man, you? Yeah. You were shit. Yeah, it's that like, was shit. Yo, yeah. What was up with that? Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? And what, and so they gang up on one person. Like the whole group gangs up on one yeah, dude. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes. I, I sorry. I, 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 sorry to interrupt, but um. I have OCD. What is that purple thing right there with the spray? Oh, man, this is, um, I wish I could make up something cool for it to be. Can I spray some on my body, or is that yours? It's, it's, a, it's a, like, yeah, mint mouth thing. Like, you yeah. can't put it on your no, 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 wait, that's, yeah. don't give him that. Don't give him that. Wait, it's You're, organic hand sanitizer. Do you have any more of that? <laughs> you put it in your hands, you put your hands in your mouth. It's mouth, okay. it's mouth stuff. Yeah. It's, it's, it's mouth, breath, it's breath, breath freshener. freshener. It's his hand it's, Hold it. How about I couldn't no, think wait, 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 wait. I couldn't think of breath freshener fast enough. I said it's mint mouth thing. <laughs> <laughs> you weirdo man. <laughs> Look at that, you made that guy leave. That's how much he was you made that guy leave. <laughs> Bobby, don't push people, Bobby! Uh, uh. He's just kidding. He's just kidding. He's joking around. It's all. Oh, yeah. Well, you killed a guy in the audience. I'm suing you tonight. See? See? Um, who, why is that man leaving? That was very strange. Really weird. It's a very, it's a very he short. Just like laughing. Are you going to chase it with Red Bull? <laughs> so bad. Yeah. But get, well, I knew what it was, but I did it for comedy, but then I regret it now. Yeah. How, that's hey, not good. How much stuff have you done for comedy that you regretted? Oh like my that. God, so many things. I yeah. can't even, there's a list of 10,000. Give me Like give I was at the Tempe ones. Improv, like I'm back in the Tempe Improv, Yeah. but I was banned from that room for 20 years. Do you know why? Because when I was young and I opened for Carlos Mencia there, mm -hmm. I was on stage, I was bombing, and I pulled my pants down, and there was a candles back then they had on the table. Yeah, real candles. And I took the candle, I just jammed it in my butthole. <laughs> and, the, and the owner of the club is a Christian, right? They're all Christians? Yeah. And they're like, um... That's not comedy. <laughs> they left, they left. Yeah, but you know, it's not, you know, that's not what our club is about. Yeah. The improv brand. Yeah. So then 20 years, I couldn't play that room. 
For one candle in your ass? For one candle, one candle in your ass. It seems like such you a simple... You can't play a room. And then you know how I got back in? How? The guy died. <laughs> <laughs> the, he did. The, the, yeah, he did. He did. He did. He, die. did, he died. He did. He died. Die. And it was tragic, but he you kill himself, you know. But and that's just sad. It's, it's really sad. No, it, look, Bobby. I, I, no, no. Listen, Bobby. You, pew, pew, and he, it's sad. Bobby. Yeah. No, no. uh, Bobby. He did sit there, yeah. Bobby. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Wait a minute. Yeah. You're saying he shot himself? He hung himself? He cut himself yeah, open? Yeah, yeah. Cause he's like, um, he's like a Terminator kind of a guy, right? But oh, um, wow. so he died, Very bad. and then my friend, this is what you do if you're banned from a club, just have your friend, when the guy dies, have your friend buy it. So my friend Joel bought it. Yeah. Come back here! <laughs> See, and you guys are celebrating that behavior, which I totally disagree with, and that's so fucked up. That is why, very why, fucked up. Why? No, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Cause you, cause ever since we've known each other, you've done things that you know are crossing the line for you know, comedy. You know what sucks about my reputation is, is that I'll do like is that you a new it for club yourself? or I'll, I'll be on a. What'd you say? You created it for yourself. When you say what's? Yeah, bad I already said that earlier though. Yeah, you did it. It's your fault. Go ahead. Okay, don't bring it back up. Okay. That's fine. It's your fault. Go okay. ahead. I already know. It's all your fault. Go ahead. <laughs> anyway, I'll show up at a uh, like a shoot or something, and a director or you know a club owner will go, "Wow, you're." unlike what I had heard. And I go, what'd you hear? We just thought that you were gonna jam things in your butthole and run around, you know what I mean? I go, That's not, I'm, a human, I'm a, an American citizen. Like, I don't, I know how to function in society, but as a perform, where's she going? Where are you going? I'm real tired of this walking out stuff. Yeah, it's always, e Everybody yeah. boo, one, two, three, boo. boo. This guy's back though. So Let's say yeah, one, two, three, yay. Welcome back, three, yay. welcome back. There's this welcome guy. Back. Very good. Look, he took a shit. Look at his smile. Yeah. He feels relaxed. Hurry up and sit the fuck down. Let's go. Hurry up. Yeah, yeah, hurry it's up. It's not about you. Um, but what was I saying? Oh, yeah, so, yeah. Talking about the brand that you built. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah I you fucked up. Yourself. But, um, you know, in the last five years or six years, I've been pretty good, though. Yeah, you've been keeping it together. You I've have been, been keeping, keeping it, it together. together. I show up to places and... Uh, like, this festival was a place where I had never been before. Yeah, you'd never been here. I'd never been time. here before. <laughs> Black Thought. <laughs> Why would you do that, Black Thought? I don't know. Because <laughs> it was an, it was a black, it was that just hurts. a black thought. It was yeah. an honest black thought. I feel yeah, like yeah. you're being, you're being too real. I'm being too real right now. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. He likes it when you're fucked up. You know, I love you know the relationships of, and blacks and Koreans. Can I just talk about it for a second? Yeah, yeah, we have, and we should. <laughs> Is that back? Remember back in the riots? We had a rough time. Yeah, it yeah, was really rough yeah, time. Had, it was a rough time. The looting, you know what I mean? Yeah. Keep the, this in the, mind. The shooting. The shooting, yeah, that's <laughs> all my bad, that's my bad. That yeah, was yeah, you yeah, guys. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then it's like, but you know, if you touch it, you have to buy it. You know, when you're in the liquor <laughs> store, just to let you know. I know. Listen, I just want to let you know, Black Thought, yeah, no browsing, okay? <laughs> Do you know what? This you know is not a museum, right? You know what's so buy it or up? not, you know what I yeah. mean? You know what's so fucked about this? When he came into the the green room, Bobby followed him around. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. Oh. Yes, you did. You did. You kind of did. did. You I did, did kind of yeah. do it, but that's just like, because. <laughs> he came in. He came in. I said, I said, what's up? It's so good to have you. And Bobby poked his head around the corner. Yeah. yeah. And he was like, yeah. who's with him? Who's with him? No, I didn't. You said, I didn't who's, say it like said, that. who's with him? Who's oh, yeah, with yeah, I did it like that. And yeah. he had a bag in his hand. And he goes, what's in the bag? What's in the bag? What's in the bag? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I did do that. But then, um, so after the ride, <laughs> got a little weird. But then, um, guess what helped us? Rush hour. Yeah. Rush yeah, hour. Because yeah. After rush hour, then you could go to a, a like a Korean spa, and then you mm -hmm. would see black people again there. Yeah. Yeah. In my head, I was like, oh, it's working. So Chris Tucker yeah, yeah. bridged the gap. You think yeah, that it was did. all yeah, him? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And now it's just a love fest, is it not? I mean, I wouldn't say love fest. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> like fest. It's a like fest. It's a like fest. Yeah, it's you. a get along fest. More it's than a get along yes. fest. Yeah. Yes. It's a get along fest. You know, it's great. The internet and everything. Like we're all one now. What do you think? You have no respect for that microphone. I know, yeah. I know, I know, I know. When you guys, when you guys, when when you're on the road, do you are you really particular about your equipment like that? Like, do you fuck it? Do you have to have a special mic? Are you uh, weird about that? Yeah, yeah, I'm weird about. I have I have my mic. Your mic, and it travels with you. Yeah. I always, why don't comics do that? I'm always fascinated. Why don't we have our microphone? I know because the other night I was on the mic. Yeah, I know what you do to the mic. And I coughed. Yeah. And there was a chunk of red. Something and it was like a beat, 
but it wasn't beats because I hadn't even had any beats in a year. <laughs> it was blood. Yeah. <laughs> and I, I, I was like, that's my guy! <laughs> and he hit it like that, and I saw it, and I go, Bonnie McFarlane's about to go up. I'm gonna leave it. <laughs> so I left it in there, and I could see her. I was laughing so loud because I could see her going, "Hey, everybody!" And she looked right at me, <laughs> right? And then she went like that, like that. Uh, so you travel? Yeah, we should travel. Every time yeah, I see, yeah, yeah, every yeah. time I, a comics, in a lot of comics, like some of the shittier comics will do a lot of bad bits with the mic, like lick it and chew on it and put it in in their body cavities, and they'll do cheap stuff with the microphone, don't they? Oh yeah. Yeah, don't you? You know, I used to. <laughs> I used to. Um, you used to fucking yes, yeah, swallow suck it, it. Suck, it, suck like it like a dick, dick, right? But then every time I would, I'd go home and I get a sore throat. Why do you think that is? <laughs> well, through um, research, googling it, um, it's because there's uh, bacteria. Bacteria, yeah, that's probably what's on there. That's in your throat. That's why I don't do but it. But then you would do it all the time. I don't do it anymore. You don't do it anymore. You learn. I did. I got sick. You live. You learn. He did it all the time, trying to you know build up a resistance. Yeah. But. That's what it was. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know how like in Game of Thrones, right? Right, someone will have a poison in my, their mouth or something, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and they're so used to the poison, they kiss and they kill the other person, but they don't die. That, anyway. Right, they build immunity. I don't know. Right. I don't, I don't remember where I saw that. I'm so sorry. Um, but the but the odd thing is that you, the thing, thing that you you must learn about Bobby right now is that Bobby um, ha, doesn't really have much of an of an immune system because he sleeps for I don't know 19 hours a day. What did I call you? When did I call you today? And I asked where you were. 4:42. In bed. Yeah, you're in bed. Do you know why? 4.42 in the I didn't have to be here until 5.15. That's right. So what am I going to do? What time did you go to bed last night? I don't know. Four in the morning. You did not. Five. You did? Yeah. What were you doing up all night? You weren't at shows. I tried not to. <laughs> well, I mean, okay, <laughs> I let's say, say. say you went to bed at, you know, 4.35 in the morning mm -hmm. still. I mean, that's a long ass time. 12 hours. I know, because I, I get depressed. And also, um, you know, I've been, like, I, I, I've been in Montreal for longer than you have, and I've been masturbating every night. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and what, what's happening now is, is that I can't sleep if I don't masturbate. Yeah. And um, last night, I was looking at all kinds of weird porn, right? And it, I'm sorry. What, what, I know, what, what's weird and porn? And my penis wouldn't get hard, so I would take my two fingers like this, yeah. and I squeeze. Let's say this is the head. I squeeze this part. Yeah. It gets some sort of blood flowing into it. Yeah. And then I just start doing this like this. Yeah. yeah. And then, like, you know how you masturbate a lot and you don't really get that big of a feeling because you've just been doing it for long? So when I came, it was just like, I went, oh, and then that's it. <laughs> and then now you have like little, like, you have wet fingers with cream. Tell, what is it? We've talked about this before. What, ha what, what sound does it make when you come? Bloop. <laughs> Because it's only one tear. You, when no, you were are you when, laughing now? But I'm yeah. going to say that. I've, I've talked to doctors about it. Um, my one tear has just as many as your big love. You really? Gangster tears? Like gangster tears. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Like it murdered somebody. You know what I mean? I would just like to think when you come, uh, like a gong gets hit. For some reason, I would love that so much at the moment. Of... <laughs> you know, I try not to laugh. That was very good. <laughs> That was good racial shit. I love it. What when you guys are, when you're traveling with the group on the road? When you like, uh, most guys are have family families now, right? Most are families. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Most, yeah when you travel when you travel on the road when everybody was single, what was the rules of the road with that kind of shit? You know, like with comics, like comics with traveling. Pack, what do you mean? Well, fucking anything, like any like groupies, anybody. Like, what were the rules of like? Because you had to share space, didn't you? When yeah, you first started yeah. out. So what's the rules of that? You know, like the sock on the door, like don't come in. I have a girl, or um, come on in, she's down. I mean, you know. <laughs> There, yeah, there were no rules. No rule. You didn't there have like a, a pact between you. Like, listen, here's I'm particular about this. When I bring someone back, it was just free for all. Um, yeah, you wow. know. I mean, I guess. I want to live back then so bad. Yeah, I mean, yeah, we. It was the it was the 90s. Yeah. Yeah. There was a code of honor in comedy where that was in play, but now th there's no more code. What do you mean? Because I I've gone up. I'm not gonna name names. I can get big, very big trouble. But there's a bunch of big comic guys that are single. Is this about Ken they, Jong again? What? Is this about Ken Jong again? No, 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 yeah, let's just say Ken Jong. No, not Ken Jong. No. That guy doesn't not. fuck, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you don't fuck, dude, that guy. Yeah. My point is, is this is that, and I would go up to guys that get a lot of girls and go, listen, you know what I mean? You stay with the sevens and the tens, through the mm -hmm. tens. They're yours. Let we, my, we get the fours. Mm -hmm. I mean, me, you know, uh, that, what's that Indian guy from Canada? 
Russell, Russell Peters? That guy, yeah, yeah. <laughs> guys like him, right? Some so you're guy. saying you guys would get the fours? Yeah, but, I don't, yeah, but just if you're a good looking male comic who gets women, stay with the nines and tens, but don't dip down and get threes. Right. Because then little midgets like Brad Williams can't get any girls, you know what I mean? <laughs> little people, sorry. <laughs> little people. He's a human being. I think I should go. I think that's it. I you're should not, go. You're not going to go. I, yeah, yeah, okay. Did you just apologize? I'm so sorry. Did, that's any, fine. any dwarves or little people oh, in the boy. room? Uh, my oh, God. boy. There it is. There is? Oh, there you are. You are there. I'm so sorry. That was my, oh, my God. I, I, when, what are the odds? <laughs> <laughs> I literally, because I was looking at the audience, right? I was looking at the audience. I was like, you can say it because they're not here, right? But then I realized that he is. Yeah. The, yeah, yeah, yeah. Come up, come up. Oh my God. This is terrible. It's terrible. Oh, what a terrible day. Yeah, I know you too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, how are you? Sit, sit down, please sit, sit down. down. Sit down. Sit down. Sorry? Sit down. Sit down. Dude, you couldn't hear him? What the fuck? <laughs> I'm gonna go over there. What's going on, guys? Bobby, come here. Happening Bobby, people? come here. Uh, yeah, all what, right. What he, happening. what he just said, did that, did that offend you? Uh, I actually got, uh, I get it all the time, you know, I'm five, one and a half, uh, according to my family doctor. That's some real shit. But when I wear shoes, I'm actually five, two. So, uh, a lot of psychology, uh, I'm into psychology. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, so. <laughs> Man, you guys do think and talk different. That's I'm for so sure. Nervous. There's no doubt about that. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, in psychology, uh, I'm not sure if you guys are aware of the marshmallow experiment, but uh, it's when a marshmallow gets placed in front of a kid. And uh, if you could withstand the temptation, you know, you, if you could last one minute. Okay, Mike, all right? <laughs> <laughs> His friend, I go, he's not really, right? He's like, not really. <laughs> he's just a small guy. Hey. You hear me? <laughs> Fuck you. No, 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 no. Fuck you. Be nice, Bobby. Be nice. That, hey, what, oh, what, that what? just fucking fucked me up right there. No. Oh. What's your name? He's like, I'm one, what? and he's uh, not. Huh? He said, I'm one. Say his name. What's his name? Jared Drew. Hi, Jared. Jared, thank You're you so much. You're a stand-up, Thank you for being a good sport. Do you You're, do stand-up, Thank Jared? you for being a good sport. Are you a good comic? Uh, yeah, I do stand-up. Yeah, because yeah. I've seen you around. But, okay, all right. <laughs> this guy's killing. <laughs> No. This guy's killing. I know, I know. Don't go. Sit there back down. He is. What a fucking nightmare. The whole thing's a nightmare. Okay. I've, I've lost total control of the show at this point. It's not even... This is the wild west. Here's what we want to do. Um, because I know there's some... Uh, I'm glad that you guys all came out. I think this is fucking incredible. This is the first time I've ever done the show live. We've oh, never great. Done what a great... Uh, great, incredible. great, 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 great. Awesome. Um... We do appreciate the fans, and so uh, I want to give a couple of opportunities for people to ask some questions. They have to be fucking real. Don't be an asshole and take up time, because if you get an, an annoying, dumb, I think I'm funny question, it's, we're going to fucking shut it down. So if you want to ask something fun and cool and curious, please uh, raise your hand like a grown man and ask. Do we have a mic? We, can, we have a... Okay, great. Thank you so much. This gentleman right... This guy right here in the very front. Say your name and... Hello, Jack. Jack. Uh, when are we getting uh, red and yellow? Ah, Jack wants to know. So Jack is curious to know when Bobby and I are going to do our uh, our podcast together. Well, that's uh, weird because are we not here together now? We are right now. <laughs> We're doing it now, fucker. <laughs> well, Bobby, you, you've got the new studio at your new place. So. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So here's the deal. How do you know about his new house? A little creepy, right? He little has creepy. my yeah. face on his sh shirt. Oh, he is wearing your shirt. Yeah, that yeah, is yeah. Okay, that's great. Yeah, very... Okay, Whoa, well, that's not I have weird. fan, that's not fuck nut. <laughs> And he came to the other one, right? Where I, what, yeah, I did yeah, a podcast there with yeah. who? Uh, not as many people here yesterday. But who was it? I forget. Uh, the 500. That's right. Yeah. So this had way more people than the other podcast that he did? Oh, way more. That's right. <laughs> Dude, this is insane. When I walked over here, I was like, well, they're here for red? But they are. I mean, no, really, it's probably for me. black. Are, I yeah, know. more than anything oh, in the world. For my bad. You've touched him so many fucking times I know, now. I, know. I, know. I wish we had a meter up there. I've of how got many times? Like, <laughs> you know. It's absurd. So you're from where? 
Uh, Australia. Australia. Okay, great. So here's the deal. I, here's a, I got the okay from gr- Kali- my girlfriend. Kalila said right, yes. We could do, do it one together. with him. Yeah. But my only problem is the fat black guy. Nobody cares. I know, but the fat black guy wants to do one with me too. And I said before I did Tiger Belly that I was going to do one with him. But you, and it never turned out. I fucked him over. Mm-hmm. And now if if I do one with you, Fat Black's going to get really upset. So so let me just take a quick poll. Eric Griffin, by the way. I call him yeah, Fat Black. Eric I don't yeah. care what you think because he's fat and he's black. How, how, many people, how many people here want us to do that podcast together? So, all right. The people have spoken. Yeah. So, um, okay, let's get, let's get another question. Who has a, who has a, a nice guy? This gentleman right behind. What's, what's, what's up, dude? Hey, I'm Josh. Uh, hey, Josh. When are you going to do a special, Bobby? Yeah, when are you going to do a special? Huh? You know, the honest truth is this. <laughs> is, is that... Um, you have to get up every time you talk like a dictator or something. Like, like, that's so what is that about me? I don't, I don't know. Down. It's I like a down. power you're thing. You're right, you're right. Um, here's the deal, okay? You know, as a comic, you want to feel that you're wanted. Right? I think everyone wants more. Right, every, yes, I know, they do. No, I, you know, but I want to feel like I'm wanted. I want to feel like companies want to do with me, and I'm not having any excitement with any companies that want to do one with me. And I don't want to ask and beg, because I feel like I've been around for so long. Mm-hmm. I've done so many things, more than most, right? And yet I feel like nobody wants to be in business, so I was going to wait until some company was like, we really want to do one with you. We're big fans, and we think it's going to be a hit. If you don't get that, and you're like, you try to convince people that you're, you know, relevant and that you can do it, it, mm. it feels gross. Yeah. And like this festival, it's like, I didn't, I, this is my first time ever in Montreal, and the reason why is because it got to the point where I felt like they really wanted me. Yes. And you, you want to feel loved. Yeah. That's what it is. Well, let, let me. It's not that I, I don't have the ability or the material I do, yeah. but I'm not going to beg, friend. Mm-hmm. There you go. I want to be offered That's right. with money. So, so this is this is this is a great question because this is we've talked about this before, Bobby. Not. Oh, I'm so upset. But it's a. <laughs> that was a good question. I love it. Thank but it, but it's a real but it's a real thing. It's a real thing that like this is something that I, I genuinely wanted to ask you too. It's like what okay. is the pressure to do another album? Because that for us there is this weird. What do the fans want versus what we want to distribute? Like, what do you still feel pressure to make another fucking album, or, or are you like that's not even on the. On the agenda. I feel a little pressure to make another Roots album. Right. Just, um, yeah, because it's what, you know, the people sort of want. But do you and, want it? Um, I do want it, but not as much as I want to do just anything that's different right. from that. You right. know what I mean? I feel like I want to just be creative in, you know, different ways. Right. But, um, yeah, there's something to be said about what putting out new material under the Roots brand affords us as a, as, as a, a band. You right. know what I mean? Um, you know, endorsements and tours and all sorts of, you know, everything that sort of comes along with putting out new music is what uh, I think those members of the Roots who don't do anything but put out Roots albums yeah, music. are sort of, uh, you know, more, more concerned with, you know? Well, I mean, it's, this is a powerful thing that Bobby was saying. I know we make jokes a lot, but what is truthful is Bobby is one of the most respected comedians in the game by far. One of my personal favorites, both because we're so close and both because I really love his comedy. It's the same way that I feel like with your music, it's like the fans and the people do want this stuff, but it is up to us at some point to decide whether or not we feel it is A, ready, or B, worth it to put out there because it's artistic integrity. People are always like, yeah. why don't you do this? And why don't you do this? And you're like, dude, it's, that's me. my name is on, on yeah. the line. You know? So that's a, that's a hard thing sometimes. But you know what's great about this? And this mm. just proves my point. Mm. Look at this crowd, right? Yeah. And the thing is, is that we were forced to do it on our own, to reach our own audiences, right? My Tiger Belly fans or people that like this guy right here, yeah. right, are my real fans. That's why when I see him, we hug and I'm very like nice because he's family. You kissed him right? on the mouth, yeah. Yeah, yeah I'll kiss him in the mouth. Like, oh, fuck, yeah. I don't give a way shit. Too right. far. Way, way too far. Way too Very weird. You've never been to Europe. <laughs> you can still taste sweet and sour. You want to spray some of this on your mouth? Or is it, no, you good? Okay, yeah. yeah. But um, it, you know that's what's great about this new age is that. You know, I was talking to that, guy, that kid, Andrew Schultz. He's a fucking Schultz beast. is a shit. One yeah, of we the love funniest him. guys I have ever fucking seen. Yes. I'm being real. He's a murderer. He's a murderer, he's right? He's so dope. And I'm like, you know, he's like, I just did it on YouTube. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, you just do it on your... That generation of people, they do it on their own. Yeah. And, you know, for years, we've had gatekeepers. There's five or six guys that make all the decisions. If those six don't like you, you're out. Yeah, that's true. You're out, but that's not the game now. Not the anymore. game is not you. Everyone can compete. 
And, you know, we've found our audiences. Like, look at this, right? Yeah, so, yeah. in many ways, you know, we're winning. That's right. Okay. Thank you, Bob. <laughs> Bob, sit down. <laughs> he's going to, he's going to, it's what he's got to do. <laughs> this is what he's got to do. Um, just, we literally only have like a couple more. If you have something, uh, a, a black dog question perhaps would be dope. Anybody go, what do you got? What do you got? Right there. That guy, that guy, that guy right there. Sorry. What's up? Uh, I've got a question for you, Andrew. Okay. What was the exact text? Sorry, sorry. Don't leave. Don't leave. Great. This is going to be me up here. Sad. No, please sit. Please stay. I need you. What, what was the text that you sent to Neil Brennan that caused him to cut you out of his life? Well, you know, we're, we're cool now. You do know that, right? Oh, shit. Neil Brennan. That's, that. who, that's why we're on tonight's show. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He's, 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 uh, so, Bob, you're going to come back or not? No, Bob. It's got. We got five more minutes. Come sit down, please, Bob. I eat all day. I'm so hungry. Well, don't sleep till fucking five and eat food then. And then s complain about. Yeah, and then bitch about it. Get sit your fucking ass in the chair. Thank you. Good boy. Um, so, so, so you know, you know Neil. Uh, of course. And Brennan and I, these guys know. I've talked about it. Neil, Neil and I. We got very close, and then we got into a bad fight, and now we're we're dope again. In fact, I just did his show today, and we had to smooth over some shit. And he was asking me what the text was. Um, the reason I didn't share it, and I won't share it now, genuinely, is out of respect for Neil, because it really did hurt our relationship. So I know what happened. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> So, out of respect for my, for my now, for my friend again, who, who we had a little tur turmoil, mm -mm. I, I, I can't, I wish I could. No, no, no. But let me say this. You're smart enough. You, if you listen to that again, you can piece together what, what I probably said. If you're smart enough. You I think I know what it is, and I didn't even hear. Yeah, you, yeah, you probably know. Yeah, yeah. But anyway, I'm sorry, but uh, we're cool now, and, I lo and I do, I've always had love for, for that dude. I think he's f a, f a genius of comedy. So... Uh, a small little bump in the road is not going to stop us from continuing our fucking friendship. So, dude, all right, let's, you high roaded the shit out of that answer. I tried, yeah, I, I tried, it. I tried cool. hard. Well, because I respect that dude and I fucking love him. I, 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 I know some people that you have a problem with. <laughs> Who do I have secrets? A, you know? Yeah, I, and I can say them if we don't end now. I we can got, say uh, them. Let's take one more question. Let's take one more question. Uh, two more. Okay, this guy and that guy, and then that's it. That's all. That, that's all we got time for. Thank you so much for doing this. Yeah, that guy and that guy. What's up? Yellow shirt. Hi guys, uh, can you do, I don't know if it could, it'd be more organic and maybe uh, cathartic if you did it at the end, but could you do a remix of me and my friend walking down the street with Black Dot? With Black Dot though. Black Dot remixing, I don't know. What are you saying, with, and yeah, with, Black Dot. with Black Dot? Sing it solo bro, yeah, but I don't know fuck, I, I, I'm the I, artist. I don't know if you he's mean? ever heard that song. Yeah, I mean, Bobby, hey Rude, you wanna check it out man. <laughs> check this shit out. Bobby, Bobby, get into it or what? Bobby did a song. Bobby did a song and it I, caught I, fire. And I just did the beginning. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let this other human ask a question, and then we'll f sit down real fast. Sit down, sit down, please. <laughs> Thank you for that. And then this is the last one, and then we really got to do it. And then you can do your fucking song and dance for the crowd. Hey, uh, what was the uh, best set of comedy you've ever witnessed? A best set of comedy I've, I've ever, ever seen. Ever witnessed. Witnessed, yes. Live? You probably got some good ones. You've seen some fucking legendary mm -hmm. shit. Mm -hmm. No? Um, I mean, I saw uh, a really killer set from Dave Chappelle. Yeah, you at did. Yeah. Radio City, um, I think maybe two years ago. Did you ever play with him? I played with Dave Chappelle. That's a what lot. I'm saying. You guys yeah. play together. But you, uh, is it ever organized or is it just like on the whim? It's kind of Dave's like, let's um, do this. And you're like, all right. Both. You know, sometimes yeah. it's organized. Sometimes he just pops up or, you know, will pop up. Because the, the block street. party, right? That yeah. was, where did he do that at? We did that in Brooklyn. Brooklyn. Like out on the street. That shit's, yeah. that was fucking phenomenal. But do you do, is he doing it now where he's just like, let's just try it. Let's just wing it and fuck around. Yeah. Yeah, that's wild. Yeah. So he'll call you up and be like, you want to come play? Yeah, and he was trying to convince me to perform just a week ago with him in New York City, like on, on the fly. And, uh, you didn't want to do it? I, nah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I high roaded the shit out of that. <laughs> <laughs> all right, good. Uh, listen, I, I, am, I am humbled and happy that you guys all came out. We're going to end this uh, the way that you wanted it. Woo! Yellow shirt. Thank you. Much love and much respect to Black Thought. Ladies and gentlemen, Black Thought. <laughs> all right, go ahead, Bobby. <laughs> I am. Um...
<laughs> no, don't do that. Because I, I I'm not good at with, with rhythm. Yeah. Um, That's why I did it. All right. <laughs> Let me just follow my own beat. All right. Me, <laughs> oh God, I got it. Me walking down the street, feeling so good to me, yeah, yeah. Having fun with my friends to the end. That's it. That's, That's it, it, you guys. Thank you so much. Bobby Lee, Black Thought. Thank you guys so much for coming out. I appreciate you. Thank you, dude. This was fucking huge. Thank you so much. You guys are the fucking best. Thank you for coming to this, man. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it. Thanks for coming out to Comedy Pro at the Just for Laughs Festival in collaboration with Lotto Quebec. And enjoy the rest of the fest. Oh, that creature in the ginger beard! Sturdy and ginger. Like vampires, the ginger gene is a curse. Gingers are beautiful. You owe me $5 for the whiskey and $75 for the horse. Gingers are hell no. This whiskey is excellent. Ginger. I like gingers.